What should you do in desolation? We just finished the introduction for our book that we're reading in our Fellowship of St. Anthony. We're reading through Guigo II, Ladder of the Monks, which is the origin of the practice of Lexio Divina. And in the introduction, it talks about consolation and desolation. In much, it's repeating what is going to be said by St. Ignatius of Loyola many centuries later. And it talks about this as a game of love where the bridegroom of the soul, who is Jesus Christ, leaves the bride or the virgin is waiting for the bridegroom to come and the soul must stay faithful because this is a game of love, because there is consolation and desolation. The summary, which will later be confirmed by St. Ignatius, is that when you are in desolation, you need to remember the consolations that God gave you and to seek after him more zealously. And when you are in consolation, you need to prepare yourself for the desolation that is to come. And in this way, your, our hearts are more and more conformed to the truth of Christ, which the result thereof is peace in our hearts, peace and joy in the truth of Christ in our hearts. And that's the challenge. It's a great challenge, but you can join the fellowship of St. Anthony. We can read this book together. We can fast together. We just started St. Martin's Lent and we have Advent fasting and many of us read the entire Bible together. So you can join us at meaningofcatholic.com slash register. <laughs>